Bitcoin hoodie guy coming back with another cast video. You can see a big fat red candle. Before we get into it, could you please Mike Tyson the like and subscribe button? Yeah, that is a big red candle. I haven't seen one of those guys in a long time. But when you go back here, you can see that it even probably maybe even wicked down further. Uh, right there, maybe even wicked down to 10 cents. But the bottom of that candle is like <clears throat> 11 and a half cents or something here. You can see it shows coin market cap 10.7 cents. Uh, we have bounced back. We're about 12 and a half cents right now. Uh, there's a massive sell off in the market. Um, you can see in the last 24 hours down 7%. Uh, you can see the last, some projects are bouncing back 2 to 4% the last hour. Um, CASPA uh, minus 72 um, crabs the last hour, 24 hours. Uh, you can see one less whale last week, one less humpback. There used to be 14. That Aquaman, it's been the last month. <clears throat> but right here, the rust migration, I thought it'd be a little bit higher today. It's just 9 Let's see, double check, refresh, 9.4%. So just up a hair from yesterday, um, and we'll see what, and that was April 11th, so we still don't know what it's going to be like for today. Hash rate is still looking good, and uh, mining revenue obviously is going to be down because the price just tanked. You can see Casper down 14%, 12%. That's what that, in the last 24 hours. Um, you know, you can see people talking about that on Reddit. What just happened? You know, I don't know if it's the uh, United States maybe talking about sending more military to the Middle East to support Israel if Iran attacks them. Um, and maybe that is part of the sell-off. We do have the Bitcoin halving coming up in about a week. So sometimes you just got to zoom out. Casp has got a lot of catalysts. Um, you know, I don't know. There's always been crazy stuff going on. We live uh, kind of somewhere where there's re recency bias. Um, yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Technology is growing fast, but uh, what would someone in England or someone in France in 1942 in the middle of World War II, they probably thought the world was maybe going to end. Um, you know, in China, they used to have women bind their feet. Um, you know, if you'd have lived in somewhere where the Black Plague was going on during the Middle Ages or whatever, and half your town died, you would have probably thought, what the heck? So there's always crazy stuff going on. Crazy stuff comes, crazy stuff goes. Rich people are trying to control as much as they can. But you got to let a lot of these exciting catalysts, I think, will boost crypto. So um, market goes up, market goes down. It wasn't that long ago that we were happy to see 67,000 Bitcoin. You know, Caspa wasn't that long ago that Caspa was five cents. Uh, I guess, let's see. I guess November so yeah I mean five or six months um, but it wasn't that long ago that we'd be really happy to see the price today so you got to just keep that keep that perspective um, and you know no one knows the future but markets come and go bounce up and down um, and so it's probably good uh, you know we went up quite a bit we never made an all-time high prior to the halving so pullbacks not the biggest uh, worry in the world for me so all right, well, let me know what you think. Stay bullish and have a good day.